Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. In previous classes, we have been talking about CSS and using CSS margins and padding features and other height and width ratios. Today, basically, we continue from there and we will be talking about CSS box model. Uh, basically, what a box model is, how margins, paddings, outlines, borders fit into to create a particular box for each of this component that we're going to work with in our HTML page. Along with that, we will also be discussing uh, outline feature that how outline plays a role in creating a box model within our uh, CSS. This is Dr. Shan Bhatti and if you have for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So uh, we start with the basics. Okay. Now what is a box model or what do we mean basically by a box model? So all HTML elements can be considered as a boxes. In CSS, the term box model is used when talking about design and layout specifically. The CSS box model essentially is a box that wraps around every HTML element. It contains, it contains uh, margins, borders, paddings and actual content. For example, uh, this is a particular box model in which this is the content. Each content is wrapped around with first a padding, then border and then the margin. Now, this is something that we've already been talking about. Remember, we said that once we start working uh, from the border of the page, we have a margin feature where the margin ends. There's the border that starts within that border inside. There's a padding that how much space should be given from the border to the actual content that starts. So we have been talking about that. This in typically basically refers to what we call a box model. So if you go into the browser and see our previous outputs, this is exactly what it refers to. That this is the page area. From here to here, this is our margin. Okay, from margin, this is where the border starts. From border, this is the content area. Okay, so these three points, uh, the padding area, the border and the margin, these three basically make what we refer to in terms of a box model. So in terms of our um, box model, this is what we refer to. So content, padding, border and margin. These four basically consist of uh, a single component. So whether you are working on the div tag, whether you are working on a paragraph or you are creating an image or you are creating a header and footers, this is what you need to consider at every single moment that you are basically working with respect to margin, then comes a border around that margin, then from that border we have a padding area. That padding area defines the space from the border to the actual content that is going to be displayed. Okay, so that's basically typically what box model refers to. And in order to complete that, we have what we call the width, the width of the div component, the border that is supposed to be around that particular area, the padding and the margin. We have been talking about this in previous class anyway. So um, all these three major components basically comprise each box model. So whenever we now design every component, we have to think about that, that how far it's from its margin, the border where it should be, how thick the border should be, if it is, if there's a border or there might not be any border at all, it's just made invisible. And then the padding from that border point to the content point, that's the basic padding area. Okay. Uh, so these three basic components, we basically work with continuously. Okay. Uh, then we come into the, what we call height and width ratio. The height and width basically define the height and width of each individual component. Now it can be a menu item. It can be a header area. It can be a logo area. It can be the actual div text section wise, the component wise, the news items, the blogs, however, or whatever component you place on your website basically are composed of something called height and width elements. And then within that height and width element, we have what we call the box model. So box model, we keep that in mind, the how big that box should be, how small the box should be, we talk about in terms of width and height. Okay. So uh, it's important to understand that when you set the width and height of your properties of an element within the CSS, you just set the width and height of that content area. Okay. To calculate the full size of an element, you must add padding, border and margins area. In other words, let me explain what basically we mean. So for example, uh, we set a width of uh, to be 320 pixels. Okay. This means that my component has a 320 width of pixels. However, if you set padding and the border pixel, this even the margin is zero. Okay. The total width of this component would be 350 okay the total width of this 50 component will be 350 because you have 320 pixels width itself then the padding area you need to count that as well remember border and then padding starts inside so the width actually is counted from border to border the width is actually counted from border to border so the width itself is actually 320 and then you need to add that 10 degree uh, 10 pixels of padding so 10 pixels of padding with a border pixel of 555 would actually be if you calculate it would be 350 area okay so this is something that you need to understand um, so if, if even if you want to do that let's just copy this div tag 
and go back into our code and we have been using div previously in our CSS as well. So this is my simple HTML that we have been using previously and this is the output showing for that. So now this is my uh, PCSS and this is a second box. So let's just edit this second box. So we come into my CSS, okay, the box green and we come here and specify these properties here for that particular box okay so uh, i think this is just a deformating issue let me just correct that so width we have 320 pixels and then we have a space let me just remove that padding again we have 10 pixels and then we just remove this and press enter and delete this border a solid gray and that's what we're gonna go do delete and enter and margin is something that we're gonna set to zero in this particular case okay so um, or i think let's just leave the margin as it is so that we have a margin from previous area delete that control s so now what we've done is we have set the width to 320 pixels for this more div green uh, so whatever width was previously 300 now it's supposed to be 320 um, then the padding is 10 pixels area that means that the padding area from the width inside 10 pixels would be added from top left bottom right so 40 pixels uh, for, then that's basically what we are counting for and then the border area 5 5 pixels as well so if i save it okay so once we set here now we go back into our browser and we hit a refresh and now you would find that my browser has a three uh, different size so it's a border is gray the content is there and the size is basically a little bit smaller size is uh, width is supposed to be uh, 350 pixels in terms of its uh, overall width with border starting on the point okay so uh, this is something that we basically work with with respect to what we call uh, our border okay um, height and width ratio so you just need to be careful a little bit about that okay so once we said that now we come here and we go into our browser hit a refresh and now you would note that now it's a different size and proportions okay so the border is at a gray color and it's a solid bar and there's a different size uh, proportions that's because now we have a width of 320 and padding of 10 so the text is basically has a 10 padding at its size and then a border of 5 pixels in its total so 5 pixels borders in total okay so from 320 to uh, the remaining calculations we do and basically we get the border so you just need to understand that how this system works okay the next topic that we need to understand is called css outline now outline is basically another outline that comes outside of the border area okay so it's in between border and i guess the margin okay if you put in in between kind of a concept so uh, basically if you see in this picture that the black line indicates your border area and the outline uh, is like an outline around your border to make it even more emphasis and more highlight area so your content area we usually have a border around it and then the border around a border okay so it's just like a double border protection so you have a double thickness some kind of a concept uh, it's, it's used uh, certain times to highlight few things for uh, for example image gallery your news blogs uh, news items and you want to have a specific highlights around them uh, there's many ways to do it and one of the ways is using outline feature is commonly available right so uh, in order to do that we have outline style outline color outline width and outline offset along with a general outline property that would compo combine all of them and you can write them in one line okay um, outline styles basically if you come here in terms of outline style we have dotted style dash solid double groove uh, bridge these are different styles as shown in the output here that you can use in other words similarly outline color again you can specify any different color width in terms of pixels and height you can specify any different pixels offset in terms of pixels that should it exactly uh, start from the border or there should be small offset gap between to the uh, border and what we call outline okay so you can give uh, with respect to that along with that the width feature basically you need to specify the thin thick and medium okay the thin usually is approximately one pixel if you specify medium it's approximately four three pixels and thick is usually four uh, five pixels okay so thin is very small one pixel and then uh, medium thick and four pixels outline width so you can specify that manually as well uh, thin medium thick four pixel outline okay typically we would give a border of one pixel but then outline would have a solid red color and thin outline and we would get something of this output so outlines are again something that are used very frequently within uh, our box model and in order to ensure that contour and contains contents are sorry are displayed uh, in a very organized and different manner okay hopefully uh, this is a small easy basic thing that you understand very quickly um, again if you don't understand leave your comments below and i will try to help you out this is dr shanbati thank you very much for watching and see you around in the next lecture